though, in chapter 1 of the Boruto manga, it is revealed that the seven Hokage, Uzumaki Naruto, is possibly dead. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and follow me on Twitter. Link in the description. Thanks for watching. Now, I am going to make a very bold statement here. Because this had I don't think anyone has said this yet. I had not seen anybody say this. Somebody could have already said this, I could be wrong. But I've only seen people say, Sasuke is dead. I am going on a limb and saying, I think Sasuke, Sakura, and Kakashi are all dead as well. If Naruto is dead, I think all four main characters are dead. Now, I have a couple reasons as to why. Sasuke, Sakura, and Naruto very firmly believe in Kakashi's first lesson about teamwork and failing and succeeding as a team. Now, in terms of why Sakura would be motivated to take part in this battle, okay, there are two reasons and both are pretty obvious. Naruto is her teammate and friend and the Hokage. People seem to forget, now that Naruto is Hokage, people are obligated to die with him and to follow him into battle. So that is part of it, and Sasuke is her husband, I, and, and Naruto is her friend. I don't think she wants to stand by and watch her husband and close friend get murdered. Like, I honestly don't see why she would do that. Sasuke is pretty obvious, he wants to defend the village. And really, when it all comes down to it, I just don't understand, from a storytelling perspective, why you would kill off Naruto and Sasuke. And not get injured, that's killing off two main characters. Why not just go all out? It is obvious what they're doing. Because the thing is, even the people that hate Sakura are going to eventually, in this story, be like, you know what? I miss Kakashi and Sakura. I miss Sasuke. I miss Naruto because they're the main character. So the only real way to tell Boruto's story in the way they want to tell it, which they actually have Boruto explain for you in the first chapter, is that this is his story and it is not his dad. The story of Naruto was about Naruto and his friend. His friend Sasuke, Sakura, and Kakashi. It was, it was their story. Mostly Naruto, but also there. I don't see from a storytelling standpoint how it would be good to keep that Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura around. Because you're always going to have this mindset. Like, if someone gets injured, you're just going to think, like, naturally, you're going to think Sakura can just heal them. Or, oh look, they're all going to die. Naruto will show up and save them. Or Sasuke is going to show up and be a badass. Like, you know, because that's how you normally think. Like, whenever Naruto and Sasuke, or Sasuke, mostly Naruto, because Sasuke was evil for a good amount of Shippuden, but whenever Naruto was, like, if Naruto was bleeding to death, most people just went, the prediction went obvious. Sakura going to come and heal him. It was always so, it wasn't even something you need to think about. That's the thing. But this isn't about Boruto. This isn't, this isn't, about, this isn't about Naruto. This story... It's about Boruto. So the best thing to do would be to kill off all the characters that we're so used to having around. So imagine reading Naruto and having no idea what could happen. Like, you get all the characters, the four characters, that you could always just automatically fall back on. Like, they're gonna come and they're gonna solve the problem are gone. Like, Boruto could be bleeding to death and you don't know who's gonna save him. Like, you don't know. You don't know if that person will have the skill to save him. Like, you don't know. Like, who knows? Maybe Dorado will need training with her shining on. So it's a stake somebody's out to do it. That could be a whole arc for Dorado. A whole character arc. Maybe she separates from the rest of all the least Shinobi. And she goes off to find someone who can train her in the art of using the shining on. Now, another thing I want to point out is that Sakura is actually incredibly dangerous. Because of Sasuke's tie to Orochimaru. You have to realize, it is very possible that Sasuke has either told Sakura or given her some type of scroll containing, like, the Edo Tensei. Like, or lo Uchimaru's location. Sakura could, if she was alive, most likely get her hands on the necessary information relatively easily to track down Uchimaru. And then she just needs to kick his ass 
and force him to use Edo Tensei and bring back Naruto and Sasuke. Because imagine just for just one minute, imagine Naruto and Sasuke, but they physically can't die. They physically can't die, they just regenerate every time you attack them. Imagine Edo Tensei, Naruto, and Sasuke. Imagine that for a minute. Yes! Also, Sakura also has information, like, Sakura knows, not a lot, not as much as Naruto and Sasuke, but she knows, she knows the stage has two children, Ashira and Indra, she knows it, she knows who Kagura is, she knows who Agoromo is, like, this is information that could one day be very dangerous. I would want to kill anybody that was involved in the Kagura battle. I would just, just for safety. Like, just because you don't know. So I, if I was this, whoever killed them, if I was him, or her, not gonna be sexist, I would kill all four of them. I would be like, kill all of them, then there's no way. There is no way that any of them can come back and bite us in the butt. Like, none of them will come back and bite us in the ass. None of it. That is the reason I think that all three and all four of them are dead. I will quickly go into Sasuke. The reason Sasuke is dead Let's all be honest, if they kill Naruto, they have to kill Sasuke. Because the, from the writing perspective, the reason they're going to have to kill Naruto is because he's too powerful. And honestly, the same problem is there with Sasuke. He's too powerful, so you have to kill him. Like, it's not really up for debate. They have to die, other there to be a sense of danger. Now, this is worth saying, get into my last and final reason. Which is the most prominent fan backlash. Now, we are not talking about who Naruto is going to end up marrying. We're talking about killing off the characters that people spent over 10 years reading. There are some people that could have been reading Naruto, that could be reading this right now, that have been reading Naruto since day one. That read day one when the first chapter came out. There are people that could have been watching it for, and reading it and following it for 15 years. Imagine how angry some of those people could be if their favorite character was just killed. Like, just, uh, abruptly killed. Like, imagine how angry all the Naruto fans will be if Sake is alive. Imagine that for a minute. They'll be pissed. If you just kill off Sake after 15 years and then had Naruto be alive, people would flip. This isn't like a pairing. This is a permanent thing. When a pairing thing can happen. A pairing is just how a character feels. Being dead is being dead. Like, being dead is normally permanent. Like, yes, sometimes you can come back. And sometimes you can't. That's just the way it works. However, I feel like it'd be more meaningful if our main character died together. They started out together as a team where they could barely take on a Jonin, and then by working together, they defeated Kaguya and saved the entire world together. Actually, in Storm 4, I'm not sure if it was worded like this in the manga, but I, I know in the manga of Hagoromo thanks Naruto and Sasuke, but in Storm 4, he thanked all four of them and said victory would be impossible if not if even one of you had not been there for even a second. Yeah, and that is true, they would not have won. The point here is that Naruto, Sake, and Sakura should die together, and it would be a lot more meaningful if they did. I would also just like to point out one thing. Why wouldn't they help? Kakashi and Sakura are both Kage-level Shinobi. They're both Kage-level. They are. They're nothing compared to Naruto and Sake. But it would still be a lot of help. Together they can still do a tremendous amount of damage against most enemies. Especially if the en enemy has any like underlings or any like clones or anything. They could deal with that. But yeah guys, this was just me really talking about why I think Team 7 should, all of the members of Team 7 should die. Please tell me your thoughts on the idea in the comment section down below. It was just an idea I've had in my head that I wanted to talk to you guys about. I'm gonna try to do more Boruto content, you know, more Naruto content in general. Hope Not as much Boruto content until we get somewhere, but, you know, I'll try to do something with Naruto now that the series is back. But I hope you guys enjoyed. 
Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. It's a one-page nation. Signing out. Have a great day.